Hello everybody, back again. So after uploading this video to YouTube, I just remembered another request. Uh, yesterday we were discussing some BIOS mod in here in this channel, BIOS Mirror Repair Clean. And a uh, guy naming, if I still remember, George, George something, this one. George Lehu or Lehu, I don't know how it's pronounced anyway. He was uh, discussing, uh, he was asking questions about uh, BIOS modding and we, key, we come up to uh, Windows K uh, injection or swapping from the dump to a new file which we may need to use with uh, our board, especially if the dump is corrupted. And uh, I think uh, he has a case here. Uh, it's uh, if I still remember, it's uh, Dell. Let me find it, and then we will see how uh, we can proceed. So we were uh, discussing uh, Windows key injection yesterday, and the guy here uh, supplied him with the file. Let me show you where. Just a minute, just a moment. Uh, he supplied him with the file in which he injected a Windows key. This one. So this guy uh, uh, supplies him with this one. Backup me cleaned Windows key injected. I uh, and uh, and after I have checked the backup of the of George, I noticed that the Windows key was located in two locations on the dump. So I have asked the guy supplying this file here how he did that, and he uh, he answered by this. So now I asked him here, sorry, where? Just a moment, uh, here. How did you inject the key here? So here he answered, I, uh, I use in LBA++ for inject Windows key. LBA++, as I said in the previous video, is a uh, paid it's not a free software but in the case of George Leu which was a Dell laptop the Windows key was located in two locations on the dump and injecting it using LBE or any other software won't do the job properly so we need uh, to do it in a proper way which I will explain in this video let me first find the original post to download the backup of George Leu let me find the first post first in which we have the backup this one yes this one so this is the backup let's download it Let's put it on here, create another folder with the name of the guy, yes, George Lehu, or I don't know how it's pronounced, sorry if I made a mistake, open and save. Show in folder, here we have, let's check if there's a Windows key on the I have already checked, but let's. Uh, I have already checked when uh, discussing the case in the server, uh, not before doing this video, of course. But let's do it again together so that you uh, all understand what's going on. So, Windows Key Changer here, let's, let's uh, go to our folder, this one. Yes, so we have Windows Key. Let's copy it. Uh, 
and we can use this tool to inject it in fact but it will be injected on one location here's the address but if we go to the backup and we with control F and control V to paste the Windows key here and doing a search here we got one result and pressing on F3 and if you, you can notice here the the offset so here 7C0A80 if we press on F3 to search again we got it in another location and here the offset is changed so that you may be sure that it's in another location let's press F3 again so no other result which means that we have the Windows key on two locations so let's imagine that we have uh, a, a new file on which we need to put this Windows key a new file which means simply uh, a file from Dell support so uh, sorry I have to use the LB again as I don't have the laptop or the board with me I am just going to use this tool to search for the service tag here it is and let's go directly to so by clicking here this support we go directly to uh, the support and right click paste uh, when clicking on this button this service tag is automatically uh, copied so let's search sometimes we may get no result yes like uh, like in this case so it's uh, it's uh, I have encountered this uh, many times uh, with Dells but anyway we can use this model number E5570 so let's open a Dell support and uh, just or we may Dell Control V BIOS simply we open so we go to let's translate to English so that you all understand we go to find drivers and here let's BIOS what I'm doing BIOS BIOS yes and there we got it if we need another version we can click on this a real version so let's download the latest one here we create so we are in the folder the, the working folder but we need to uh, uh, create another folder which uh, I love to name exe so that my work will be easy and organized here we have uh, uh, in fact uh, this file or this uh, executable file contains only as always with Dell files or BIOS files contains only the BIOS region so we have to extract the BIOS region and to extract the BIOS region we use this tool um, this one Dell PFS extract and for this these tools these tools here uh, these tools they are available in uh, the server you just go to the pinned message here 
and it's the the pinned message on bios mirror perklin uh, channel you uh, scroll to down it's the first one which we have in pinned messages in this channel so you um, download it and you use it as you uh, can see here so let's go back so we have opened this one this this is it let's go to our working folder here where we have the executable file we copy the path here copy we go here we do right click and pay attention to air pay attention to air as as far as i click enter on this on this uh, so let's hit enter you will notice that there will be a folder a new folder here on this folder which will contain the extracted files so here we got it and inside we have what we need let's close this so we have uh, as you can see here we have BIOS region we have me region and we have other uh, files which we may need in some cases like for example this one which is related to to the LAN uh, the embedded controller also we may need it in some cases anyway what we need here is the BIOS region let's copy the BIOS region and let's go back to the main folder where we have the backup and let's paste it there so we have another copy here. let's open both files with the um, with HXT okay and we go to BIOS region download it we select the first two lines or three lines as you wish and we go to the backup and we control F we paste what we have selected there and enter so here in the backup here begins the BIOS region here so what we need to we'll go back to the BIOS in fact what we are doing now is just uh, we have a backup which is corrupted we need to repair it to repair backup we uh, do a BIOS region changing we change it with the update one or the last update or any other version uh, if you want uh, uh, you may use other versions there earlier versions so uh, who knows you may need to downgrade your BIOS for some reason I don't know anyway here uh, all the versions are available there and so we just replace the BIOS region on our uh, backup to the official one so here we are in the BIOS region Control A to select all and we copy and we go back to the backup and we came here and with the right click we passed right which means we change the whole BIOS region of our backup and let's um, save as uh, let's uh, backup uh, BIOS region repair yes let's save uh, we go back to our folder so here we have it here and we have the right size and uh, if we let's close this let's open again the backup uh, repair 
and let's uh, do let's search for the Windows key now to where we have it there so sorry I have to select text string so can't find any it doesn't exist on this new file but in the backup we have it control F okay we have it and if three we have it in another location okay now let's use another tool the other tool is this one UFA tool we open we uh, need to open the backup with this tool okay so and we need we need uh, the hex value of the Windows key so let's search it again in the backup sorry text string so we need this value this one highlighted highlighted in blue we copy it and we go to UFI tool and we do control F let's clear this first okay we don't have that option so control F and we paste the value here and we search so as you can see here we have two results which means the key is located in two locations double click on the first result we see that we got this padding highlighted click the second one result so the same padding which means that this padding contains the key what we need is to extract this padding as is we save it in the main folder let's uh, name it windows key save let's go back to our folder here we have it let's open it with with our editor let's search for the windows key okay here we have the first result f3 on the keyboard second result so how then we can uh, transfer or swap this to easy so we have this button but before doing that let me show you something so let's open the file the backup BIOS region repair with this same tool let's open it beside the other one just to compare between them so let's reduce this folder so as you can see here this padding which contains our windows key doesn't exist here it doesn't exist there so this file which we have repaired which is in fact a backup the BIOS region changed or replaced by official one downloaded from uh, Dell support has not this padding simply because the Windows key is not there or demi info are not there so what we have to do we open the backup beside this one here with hxd the backup sorry not the backup this one the one that we have repaired and also we will need the backup why 
so we have the backup let's put it here Windows keypad we have the backup and we have the backup BIOS region repaired we need the backup we have to search for Windows key again and we have to to write down this offset the number of the offset let's put it on a new text file you you can use whatever you want paper and the, with a pen and write it simply with a pen or whatever you want so the starting offset is seven sorry seven c zero a double a double a and another zero then we hit f3 on our keyboard to locate the second windows key on our backup and we scroll down till we get or we don't need in fact we don't need we don't need this the second one we don't need so let's go back to the first result so we just have to uh, to uh, uh, have the first offset why because now we are going to windows keypad uh, which we have uh, extracted uh, using ufa tool and we simply Control A, select everything and copy, and we go to BIOS region repair here, and we let's go back up to the backup. Sorry, so not this padding. I'm sorry, not this offset. Sorry, it's not this offset, not this one, because the padding starts here. So uh, the Windows key uh, offset confuses me, but I have uh, uh, remembered that I have made a mistake here. So it's not the offset which we have uh, written here, it's this one, 7, so not this one, it's 7, C, 0, 9, a and zero seven c zero nine a zero seven c zero nine a zero this one so and we go to the backup bios region repair and we here in search go to and let's just copy this and paste it here and yes so here we are in the right offset we go back to windows keypad control c to to select to copy the, the whole block and here with the right click we do past right and we save so the file is saved with the same name and this is the first file backup use repair repair dot bin dot bak which means backup so this is the file which we have uh, uh, in first place when uh, replacing the bus region and when we have added the bus the windows keypad to it the hx the editor saves it here and keeps the original file in case you need it so if we open this time this one let's close all and open it again and control f searching for the windows key 
we got it f3 in another location close now let's open so here we have uh, the backup user repair region the first file before uh, modifying it before injecting the Windows key let's open it now after we have injected the Windows key and pay attention here so we say that we don't have the padding containing in this one and here we have our padding if we go back to our folder and uh, open this one control F and uh, Windows K again okay and we copy the hex value of it and we do search in this new file control F control V okay we have here two results and the file is ready to use with our programmer let's check the file with this so we have uh, the file is correct and we have all our partitions and again let's check the windows key with the lbe in the new file which is sorry this one so we have the new file the new um, we have windows key in the new file this is how we uh, can inject or swap windows key from backup to a new file properly there are cases that we can uh, just uh, do it as in uh, in a video which I have made uh, uh, months ago this one no not this one this one change with the key and we also be in file using hxd uh, it's a simple way but which works with uh, some uh, cases and not all all cases so but the proper way to do it in fact is doing it like as I have just showed you in this video I hope it's clear and that you have learned something new and uh, I think everything is uh, explained as it should and now I have to upload the video and go home. So see you in the next video. Bye bye everybody and take care.